no knocks done. Oh, yeah. Clean. And I thought I'd provide uh, hopefully a little humor. If you haven't uh, seen this, you'll enjoy this little uh, video. That's assuming we've got sound. successful and we believe that the BYU students that were involved in that activity learned a lot about culture they learned a lot about other design methods and other standards and, and way other cultures do their engineering processes so we proposed that to the National Science Foundation and they gave us a bunch of money to take a normal class and turn it into kind of a collaborative experiment. So each of you are kind of involved. This is the last semester that we're gonna be running the, the NSF study. Um, but each of you are going to be part of that experiment. Okay? We appreciate that. We appreciate your willingness to kind of be involved with that. But the pr two previous years that we've done it, it has worked really well. It's been a little rough on the startup because uh, the learning of collaborative tools is not the easiest thing. 
but we've kind of got that worked into the labs and things like that, and so it should work fairly well. Right now, what I'd like to do is introduce Holt Zog, who is the PhD student that you guys will all meet. Have him come up here and say just a few things about what he's going to be trying to do. And he's got some sheets of paper that you need to sign on, sign your name on. It's a consent form to be a guinea pig. <laughs> so. Dr. Jensen pretty much gave my whole spiel. Um, I'm not with the engineering department. I'm with the, the School of Education. And over the last two years, um, as we've worked on global virtual teams, we've tried to understand how they function better and what's the best way to integrate them into classes. And there's, there's a number of things that have, like we said, that we've kind of been able to smooth over and work through. And in, with this being the last year, we're um, looking to advance that. Now, I did have some PowerPoints, but with Dr. Jensen's introduction, half of them became redundant. Um, if you want to find out more about me, uh, my PowerPoints are going to be up on the TCC. 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 And so if you want to look at them, it has my email address on it. So if you have any questions about the study, um, feel free to call drop me an email or you'll see me here in class come up and say why are we doing this or what we're doing because I'm happy to explain that to you. Um, if you want to know more about me, my website's also up there that you can look up and see where the really person I used to be. Um, basically what we're going to be looking at doing is we're going to be asking you to do about five things. At the beginning of the semester we have a, a pre-course pre and post-course sur course, course survey that kind of looks at your general experience with working on an international level, your language capabilities, um, teaming experience, and we're trying to look at saying how have you changed from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester. We also have what I call a, a virtual communication tools use, where we're going to just kind of do a brief sampling of saying what kind of tools do you use to communicate with your team members. Now, in the sense of this, there's really no right or wrong answers in either of these surveys. It's basically taking a look at saying, if you've got a team that's co-located, where all the members are in one place, and you've got a team where members are in two different locations, and you'll hear the term global virtual team, because that's essentially what you're working on. Um, we're trying to take a look and say, how do those teams differ in the way they communicate, in the way they interact, in the way they have to function engineering? How does culture influence the engineering decisions and the interaction decisions of trust building? And so that's the kind of things that we're going to be looking at. In between there, um, we're also going to ask you, and this is going to be the tough part, and each of your teams is going to be assigned an email, a team email. And what we ask is that everybody, anytime you email anyone else in your group, you copy it to that email address because that's one of the ways we're trying to look at the communication patterns that are evolving on global virtual teams as opposed to the co-located teams. And so it'll take a little bit, but whether you're emailing one other teammate or whether you're emailing, sending a general one to all your teammates, we just like to be copied on it. Um, I'll let you know a couple of things. What I do has absolutely no bearing on your grade and that he gives you. I'm, I'm just here to research you and look at it. Um, anything that I get in the emails is kept confidential um, and, and, or, or any other interview that I have with you. We, we will be interviewing a few of you at the end of the semester um, at a time that's convenient to you and trying to arrange that just to gain a greater understanding of what we're doing. Everything we do is confidential. Only place that we'll see those is, um, is the, the team research team that's working on this. Um, I will let you know on the surveys, it's going to ask you to identify yourself by name. When we use anything from that, you will not be identified by your name in any way, shape, or form. The reason we have that is so that we can use a statistical analysis to compare your pretest to your post-test. And so if we can take a look at where you were at the beginning and where you were at the end, then that allows us for a better comparison, and that's why we ask for your name. Other than that, we're not going to sit down and say, John Smith said this. We, we, we won't do that in any kind of document that we produce. We won't identify anybody by anything. So 
like I said, we have these protocols that are coming in for being uh, confidential. Um, other than that, we hope you sign the form and you, you're in with the study. It has been sitting on the outside. I've been an educator for over 20 years. And I've got to tell you, all educational experiences I've had, you are in for one of the top five I've ever had in my life in this class. Um, not just with the engineering stuff, but combined with the global virtual one. This would be just a phenomenal experience for you. And I'll finish with this because I worked with the uh, capstone team last year where I, I taught a course to try and help them work better on global virtual teams. One of the students went to work for Exxon and she was put in charge of all of their natural gas teams throughout the world. The comment she made was the stuff I learned on the global virtual team was immediately relevant to her job. And that's the kind of thing that you guys, you guys are truly on the cutting edge of, of where engineering and where business is going. And so I hope you enjoy the course. I, I hope if you have any questions, you'll come up and introduce yourselves to me. Um, and uh, then we'll kind of go from there. All right. Thank you. Are there any questions for Holt before he sits down? Raise his hand, he's to you at the end of class, or? Yeah, if you, I'll just be sitting at the back and if you just want to turn it into there, that, that would be good. Okay. Thank you. You could uh, reflect back for uh, when you were in high school in a science or biology class and you were looking through a microscope and looking at a slide down below that had little things crawling around on it. Well, Holt's eyes are the ones looking through the microscope and you're laying on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back at him. So he's going to be the one that's going to be looking carefully at your collaboration skills. Okay, so let's kind of talk about the class. We are linked up with these schools during this class. So there will be a group of you that will be working with Tongji University in China. There will be a group of you working with the NTU in Singapore, a group of you that will be working with Sao Paulo, a group of you that will be working with Honik in Korea, a group of you that will be working with UIA, Vero Americana in Mexico City. There will be at least a team 